Good morning, YouTube world. So I have a new video for you. I just picked up my new travel trailer over the weekend and I decided right from the start to switch it over to lithium battery. This travel trailer does come with a solar system on it that was designed to charge lead acid and AGM. It just was not designed to charge uh, lithium. So today's video is everything you need to do to remove the stock controller, charge controller, out of this camper and install one that's designed to recharge lithium battery. So this is a 2850 KRL manufactured by East to West. Um, it's the Alta and it comes stock with solar on it. This solar system is a 50 watt solar system. Some of the brand new models are coming out with 100 plus watt solar systems, but mine currently has a 50 watt system on it. So. I'm gonna show you what needs to be done to uh, be able to run lithium batteries. The charge controller that comes with these trailers isn't set up for a lithium battery setup, um, but the converter on the inside of the trailer is. So we need to change the charge controller out um, as well as flip a switch on the inside panel. So without further ado, let's get started on this project. So this is your stock charge controller. It's a PWM unit that is not designed to charge lithium batteries. As well, it is old technology and not as efficient as an MPPT controller, which have profiles specifically for charging lithium batteries. In this controller, there's four wires that are epoxied into it. We're going to need to reconfigure these wires to make the new controller operate correctly, as the positive wires are all ran together on it. So these are your positive wires. They are all tied together for the battery and the solar controller. And then these are your negative wires for the battery and solar controller as well. There's a black and a white wire set that is for your converter. And we're not going to be using those or messing with them at this point. So we're going to need to disconnect the solar wire, that's the positive red wire, and run it back through the small hole next to the vent duct and then over to where the solar controller is going to be so it can give us our four wires that we need. So we'll get that done next. Hey guys, so as you can see, this project's already done, but um, as I was editing the video, I realized I didn't do a good enough job with explaining the wiring portion of it. So I'm gonna go back through and just kind of try to explain and clarify a little bit more. So here's your wiring and it's kind of a jumbled mess but the wiring you're looking for is really coming out of the ceiling or out of a loom higher up. Um, that wiring you're gonna trace down and you're really looking for wiring that has like red and white coloring to it. Um, there's several other colors with like greens. You can put those aside and like oranges, put those aside. The wiring you're primarily looking for though is these reds and these whites. Um, wires and where those run the way you can trace those down is on this side where it comes through you can literally grab those wires when they're connected to the stock controller and just pull on them and as you're pulling on them they're going to pull back through um up here kind of where that vent runs they're just going to pull back through and that way you can tell what wire is what and as you're doing that as you see i labeled all my wires when you're pulling each individual wire, it's gonna, as it pulls through this side, label it. Cause you'll be able to, you'll be able to tell on your charge controller what wire it's connected to. If it's connected to, you know, this red wire, you'll know that obviously that is your battery wire. Or if it's connected to this, you know, this black wire, that's a solar wire. And you can label those. Once you've labeled them, then you'll know uh, which wire goes to what. On this positive side in the harness, there was actually three wires running into this. There was a battery wire, and then there was a solar positive wire that was running into the same thing, and then this black wire, which is the incoming wire. Incoming wire. So when I figured that out, I disconnected just the solar wire because I knew that that's the one wire that was on this side that wasn't on this side. There was only three wires coming in originally. And I'll start showing pictures as well uh, of when I was in the process of doing this, just so you can kind of see what I was doing. 
but there's only three wires coming in originally. And so I had to find that red solar wire, the positive solar wire to run it back through. And that's why you saw this pink string is I was fishing, wiring that one wire back through and out here. So I had all four wires. I originally had the battery positive and negative and then the negative solar wire, just not the positive solar wire through here. So I, again, ideally you're looking for this wiring loom with red wire. It'll have two red wires and then this black and white wire. There'll all be three connected to this one uh, crimp connector. You need to undo the crimp connector and then pull the one red solar wire out. And the way you're gonna tell it's a solar wire is if you trace these, at some point, the loom is connected. So that's how I know the battery wires are the same. So you have this one, you know, set of wiring, two wires that are connected together and they're not split yet. Those are the batteries. And then the solar wires are the same. So these technically are my solar wires. It came through and the, the wiring is not split yet. Uh, it's split down here which ran the white wire or the negative into here originally. And then the red wire was split from up there and came down and met up with, again, this wiring harness where there's the three wires. So I just wanted to clarify that. If you have any additional questions though, because it can get a little confusing, please again, leave me a comment in the comment section. All right, back to the video. Okay, so now that we've ran, this positive solar wire back through from here, up there, and out back out here. We have our four wires. So we have our positive solar, our negative solar, and then our two battery positive and negatives. Those are gonna go and con connect into our new controller right at the bottom. So the PV plus and PV negative is your solar panel. And then your battery plus and negative are obviously your battery. Um, I'm gonna get this all wired up and then we'll go from there. Okay, we've got the battery and the solar panel wired up. Everything is reading accurate. So a key thing when you're installing your term, your wiring into the controller are your battery wires need to be installed first and the battery needs to be turned on or reconnected. So you're gonna do all of this with the battery disconnected as far as running rerouting wires and everything and have it unplugged from shore power just so there's no risk of electrical shock. But once you get the controller, uh, the wires ran and the controller and um, the wires installed, you're gonna reconnect, in my case, to the lithium batteries. Um, this is gonna fire up and then you can install the solar panel wires. If you install these wires first and then the batteries, uh, battery wires, you can risk frying your controller. So uh, just a really important thing to not forget to do. Next, I'm gonna get this all mounted up. In this specific instance, uh, this controller needs to stay pretty low um, to allow for ventilation. This does have some big rear cooling fins to it. So you just need airflow from top to bottom with it. So we'll get that wired up next. All right, so this is what it looks like with the controller all wired up and installed. I added two additional wires with this specific Renogy controller. It allows for a Bluetooth module to be added to it so you can run it from an app on your phone. As well, it has that green plug right there is a temperature probe that runs down and into my battery box, which tells the controller what the temperature of the batteries are. With lithium, they charge at a specific temperature or at different temperatures than what normal lead acid batteries would charge at. And so you definitely wanna make sure that you utilize that temperature probe if your controller comes with one. Um, after this, all we need to do is run inside into the uh, cabin and change over the switch for the converter. So let's go get that done. Okay, so now that we're inside, this is your converter as well as it houses your 12 volt system. So down here is a sticker. It shows LI and LA and has a little finger with a switching motion. That's just telling us that when you are changing over to lithium batteries, we need to switch the switch inside from that lead acid profile 
to the lithium profile. And what it, what that's doing is it's changing the voltage output of the converter to your battery. So it charges the lithium batteries at a different rate. So to do that, open the panel and then right inside, there is this little guy right here. You can see LI and LA and a little switch down below. You're just gonna move the switch from the LA position to the LI position and that's it. So uh, other than that, when you're on the shore power again, it's going to charge at that different rate. Um, and then when you're charging from solar, it's also going to charge with the new solar controller at that higher voltage as well. So uh, now that you've done all of that, congratulations. Uh, you can test everything out, plug your camper back into shore power, make sure everything is operating properly, and you've just converted to uh, lithium batteries. If you found this video helpful, please uh, subscribe to my channel, like the video. I'm always trying to put out these new DIY videos uh, for projects like this. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I'll try to get them answered. Um, I'm going to link all of the parts that I use in this video in the description. So uh, you guys can use them or feel free to pick up your own charge controllers. There's tons of them out there. Um, just make sure that they are a uh, MPPT controller, not a PWM controller like came like what came with our campers to begin with. Uh, again, like and subscribe and thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.